Hey there. Um, here's another little update on what I've been working on. Um, I guess you've seen all of the all the parts individually, uh, but here's the progress with them all laid out together. Hopefully, it gives you a better sense of what's what's actually meant to be happening. Um, I found the biggest space of floor in my apartment that I could find to do this. Um, so, yeah, it's coming together pretty well. You know, I'm still, like, as I go, I'm moving the pieces around and figuring out how they, what parts of them look right and don't look right in relation to each other. Um, like, one of the first things that I had to change was I had, I had these um, kind of points coming up here. Um, and they, they only made sense if the hands were much higher up on the figure. Um, but the, but the hands need to be, you know, re reasonably close to where they are now. And so I had to shave those down a bit so that the anatomy made more sense and what else? Um, I had to do some corrections with the sizes of the wrists because this one was seeming a lot bigger than that one. And, you know, all sorts of little things. I, I keep on cutting these two boards here shorter and shorter, trying to make it so that I can get the neck and the top of the torso um, close enough that, that they, they're proportionally the way it's going to be finally. But I need to leave enough board under, like, overlap for each piece that I have room to make the mold. Um, but it really makes it difficult to get a sense of what they need to look like next to each other when I can't actually put them there because, you know, you can see the board is bumping up against the clay. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet about that. I'd rather not just wing it and wait and see if the castings look right together because then it's, you know, then suddenly I'm drilling into things and, you know, probably using epoxy sculpt on it to re-sculpt things so that they look right, which I, is fine, I guess, but that's, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather not do that unless I absolutely have to. So it's more likely that I'll cut, cut it very short um, beneath the neck so that I can really put them right up against each other. And then when it comes time to mold the heads, Maybe I'll I'll put them on, uh, put that whole thing on an additional bigger board underneath, and just let there be a lip in in the mold, because um, it won't show in the part itself, so it shouldn't really be a big deal. Um, I'll just have to make sure that I do a good job of sealing the line between the two boards, because the silicone will find any gap that's available. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just have to make sure that I seal it really well so that, um, so that I don't end up with an enormous puddle underneath, um, the project. And, uh, yeah, so here, here it is. And, gosh, this is really most of what I've been working on. You can see some of the, some of the detail with the hands that I've been doing. It's been really... A strange process to to do all these fingers and figure out how they're going to be squishing into each other and holding each other and try to make it make some sort of sense and make it look like the fingers are really pressing into the skin of the of the palm you know but but not so much that it looks you know creepy or anything I mean though I mean it's I guess it's me so it's probably gonna end up looking creepy anyway. But uh, you can see this is the one that I'm mostly working on right now. Um, it's not as far along in the process. Um, yeah, but it's, but it's getting there, it's coming along. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty much what's happening for the moment. So um, yeah, I hope you all had a, a great holiday and I will be giving more updates very soon.